vaccine passports, and COVID certification updates. In this video update, we will talk about vaccine passports, which will be set for use at large events in England. Officials' request for utilization of COVID certification for restaurants and pubs has been ruled out. Domestic vaccination passports are planned to be launched for mass events in England this summer, according to UK government officials, briefed on the dialogues. Under the discussed plans, proof of vaccine certification, saved on the NHS app, may be utilised for events of more than 1,000 people, after the UK enters the next and final phase of its roadmap out of lockdown, on 21 June 2021, when locations for example, nightclubs are planned to be reopened. There has been some doubts on whether a domestic vaccine passport scheme would be approved in England, with some disagreeing, they would prove exclusionary to the young and minority groups. Others have interrogated whether they have a clear public health value. Those in favor of the scheme note that the pass will allow evidence of the latest negative COVID-19 test or previous infection from the COVID-19 virus as substitutes to vaccination, avoiding biasness. The UK government will soon step forward into the second phase of its assessment of large events and the role of digital certification at a total of up to 10 events before the 21st of June 2021, possibly including Royal Ascot on the 15th of June 2021. For those individuals who are unvaccinated, a tough testing regime will be obligated. An official announcement on phase two of the trials is anticipated next week, which will include a combination of measures, for example music and sports. A government insider stated that the phase two trials will be greater and improved. We desire to get crowds back safely in greater numbers. A senior Whitehall dignitary said the first phase of the trials has gone extremely well and it's almost guaranteed that vaccine certification will be obligated for large events. The official added that passports for restaurant and pubs have been ruled out. A UK government representative mentioned COVID status certification could have a vital part to play, both internationally and domestically, as a temporary measure. It may possibly play a role in opening up high-risk settings safely and would take into account a recent negative test, vaccination, or natural immunity. However, one government insider concerned with the scheme implied that utilization of passports may be extended if the UK undergoes from a third coronavirus wave later in 2021. It may be that certification has a part to play in other places to stop closures in the autumn or winter if there's an immense surge. From this week, the digital passport has been utilized to allow international travel with people in England able to log into the NHS mobile app and access a portal with their COVID-19 vaccine status. In the meantime, Public Health England's latest nationwide survey of COVID-19 mentioned that eruptions of COVID-19 had risen 59% in a week, although the national level of the disease decreased. Public Health England also stated that real-world data proposed two doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine reduced symptomatic disease by up to 90%, higher than described in clinical trials. The report added that COVID-19 vaccination had avoided over 13,000 deaths from coronavirus. This is the end of today's video update. If you like today's update, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.